Good morning, everyone. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. The Bible reading this morning is taken from Mark chapter 10, verses 46 to 52. Blind Bartimaeus receives his sight. Then they came to Jericho. As Jesus and his disciples, together with a large crowd, were leaving the city, a blind man, Bartimaeus, that is, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called the blind man, cheer up on your feet. He is calling you. Throwing his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the roadside. Isn't that a wonderful story? And it's a true story as well. The Bible is full of fascinating and exciting stories, all true, about the Lord Jesus. And the wonderful thing about the Bible, it's the book of life. So let's just pray before we do the message. Father, we just thank you for the story that we're going to hear more about of blind Bartimaeus. I pray that you would open our hearts, open our minds, reveal to us the things that you want to reveal to us. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So my title of the message is Free at Last. So let's just recap on what we've just been reading. So we know that Bartimaeus was blind. We know he cried out, Son of David, have mercy on me. So he knew that Jesus was the Messiah, Son of David. The crowd told him to be quiet. Jesus stood still. Jesus heard him calling and Jesus stood still. Wow, Jesus has time for us. And Bartimaeus flew his, threw his coat, cloak aside. And Jesus stood before him and said, what do you want me to do for you? And that blind Bartimaeus he believed and he received. So the first point I'm going to make is, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Blind Bartimaeus, he heard that Jesus was passing by. He also heard what the crowd was saying. Now, that would have discouraged him. And we all get discouraged, don't we? We get discouraged by what people say to us. We get discouraged by our circumstances. But what determined Bartimaeus to keep going? Jesus was there. Always remember when you're going through things, Jesus is there. And you know, blind Bartimaeus took hope took comfort in. He had heard what other people had been saying. He couldn't, have, he couldn't see, but he had heard about Jesus. And maybe there was a blind beggar who got healed, but he had heard and he believed that Jesus was the son of David, the Messiah. And that gave him hope and that gave him a future. Hallelujah. And it's wonderful as well because Jesus stopped. He stopped. And Jesus stops for us when we're going through stuff. Jesus is right there in the midst. So what encouraged 
blind Bartimaeus. Determination. Determination. It was his chance to be healed. What encourages you to keep going? Determination. Jesus is there in the midst of whatever situation you are in. He's right there. And you know, we're told that David, in the Bible, King David, he encouraged himself in the Lord. The the word tells us in 1 Samuel 30 verse 6, he was distressed and he found strength in the Lord. So when you are discouraged, when you are distressed, encourage yourself in the Lord. Remember the good things that the Lord has done for you. You know, also we can feel distant from the Lord, but he's there all the time. Hallelujah. Remember the footprints in the sand? Where there's only one set of footprints in the sand. And that means that all the time there was only one set of footprints. It was the footprints of Jesus because Jesus was carrying you through all that difficult situation. He was carrying you. Isn't that amazing? He loved you. He wasn't going to let you go through that valley by yourself. He was carrying you through that situation. Oh, his love. He's carrying you. Hallelujah. Isn't that a beautiful picture though? A beautiful picture of Jesus carrying you out of your situation. And as I said, blind Bartimaeus was determined. So get determined today if you're discouraged. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. So, son of David, have mercy on me. So cry out like blind Bartimaeus. Jesus, have mercy on me. He hears, he's standing still and he wants to, he's saying, call call him. He wants you to come to him. So that's my first point. My second point is Bartimaeus was in darkness. Luke chapter 4 verse 19 says, Jesus came to bring recovery of sight to the blind. Now, we're not told blind Bartimaeus had been blind from birth or whether it was a gradual thing. We don't know. We don't really know much about him. But one thing we do know, he lived in a world of darkness. Jesus said, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. John 8, 32. Jesus said, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Bartimaeus had an encounter with Jesus and he was set free. You know, also the word healed also means, it's a a Greek word and it means zozo, which means saved, delivered, protected, made well, Restored to health, rescue from danger and destruction, restored to health. So there's quite a few words that healed means. Hallelujah. So we have to remember that Jesus wants to take us out of that darkness. You shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. Bartimaeus was in physical darkness. He couldn't see physically. And sometimes we can be in spiritual darkness. Maybe there are things hidden that we know about, but we don't want to bring to the light. And maybe there are things that blind us to the mercy and goodness of God. And God wants to show us his goodness, his mercy, his loving kindness, so that we can draw closer to him. You know, God wants to bring us out of darkness into his marvelous light. God wants to bring us into truth. 
so that we can be set free and live in victory. Hallelujah. You know, Billy Graham told a story about a parrot. When I heard it, I thought, oh yeah, I love this story. There was a woman who had a parrot and the parrot could talk. And every night the woman would put a sheet over the cage and say to the parrot, good night, Polly. And Polly would respond, good night. And in the morning, she would take the sheet off and say, good morning, Polly. And Polly would respond, good morning. And one day she went and she took the sheet off and she said, good morning, Polly. And Polly said, good night. So she says, good morning, Polly. It's a beautiful day. And Polly said, good night. So she went and investigated to see what was going on. And when she got to the cage, she noticed that the cat had somehow got into the cage and scratched Polly's eyes out. So Polly was in darkness. The thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. But I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. John 10.10 10. And this is how Satan is. He wants to rob us and keep us in darkness. He doesn't want us to know the mercy of God. He doesn't want us to know the truth that Jesus came to set us free. He wants to keep us in darkness. And you know, I was praying to God to show me if there was anything hidden in the dark that I needed to bring to the light so that I can just draw closer to God. This was about maybe three weeks ago. Lo and behold, he brought something back to my memory that I completely did not know about. And, you know, when we ask him to shine his light on us in the dark corners, he will because he wants us to be freer, to worship him, to praise him, to draw closer to him. Hallelujah. So my third point, throw away anything that hinders you, that slows you down. Bartimaeus threw aside his cloak, verse 50. That's the loose outer robe that covered his tunic. So why did he do that? Perhaps to leave his past behind. He had faith to believe that he wasn't going to be a beggar anymore or it could represent that he didn't want anything to hinder him going to Jesus. Whatever the case was, he was eager to get to Jesus and he didn't want anything to slow him down. Hallelujah. You know, is there anything you need to throw away that hinders you coming closer to Jesus? Sometimes we need to just cast ourselves mercilessly upon Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me tell you another story. This is a true story, actually. <laughs> This is about my friend. And my friend, he had on his back a rucksack. But in the rucksack wasn't maps and towels and clothing. It was full of problems and worries. It was full of distresses and fears that he was just about able to carry. But when he was told that God could take it all away, he didn't want him to. He'd got so comfortable with it, he was afraid to let go because he didn't really know who God was. And maybe some of the blind men who were on the road with Bartimaeus, they were happy being blind. But unlike Bartimaeus, Bartimaeus got his freedom. And Bartimaeus, yes, he was set free. 
but he didn't care what the consequences was going to be, i.e. he'd have to get a job. The main thing for Bartimaeus was he was set free and it doesn't matter what that cost was, he was set free and whatever was on the other side he was willing to face because he knew Jesus was the Messiah. You know, my friend was carrying this rucksack, but he was blinded to the fact that God could take it all away. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, it reads, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And you know, this is a promise that God makes to all of us. It's a promise that we don't have to fear because he is there with us. He is the one that could get to the root of what was in that rucksack and take it all away. You know, in a sense, Jesus is the antidote to all our issues. So let's conclude. The first point I made was, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Let's be like Bartimaeus and cry, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. You know, there's a psalm, I think it's Psalm there's a song that talks about God's mercy and God's grace. And God wants to show us his mercy and his love and kindness. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He heard Bartimaeus. He'll hear you and he'll show you his mercy and his loving kindness. The second point I made was Bartimaeus went from darkness to light. Jesus wants to bring us into light. Perhaps we have hidden things in our life, like I asked the Lord, I didn't even know, and he shone that light and rescued me. Or perhaps we are blinded to the mercy and loving kindness of God. So whatever it is, let Jesus shine that light so that we can see clearer Jesus. My third point was, throw away anything that hinders you. Don't be like my friend, carrying that rucksack with all that stuff in, when he could have easily given it to God. Ask, ask God to give you a fresh revelation of his love so that you don't fear him. Don't let anything stand in your way of you and Jesus. Let go and let God take it away. I pray that the Lord has blessed you in some way today. Let's just finish off in prayer. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that blind Bartimaeus called. He was determined to be free. He was determined. And Father, we are determined to be free. Open our spiritual eyes to see the freedom that Christ came to give us. Give us a fresh revelation of your love and shine your light in those dark places so that we can draw closer to you. Thank you so much for Jesus. Jesus, thank you for setting us free. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a great day.